Welcome to De Tocqueville, my video blog on information resources about America. My name is Leslie Smith. Over the next few episodes, I hope to take you on a digital journey of websites I think represent the best of American culture and values. It will include audiobooks, video, podcasts, interactive books, and just plain e-text. Today, I want to show you just three sites, a video series on American poetry, a podcast on American folk music, and an interactive book for early readers. Let our digital journey begin. The first multimedia site I want to show you is www.learner.org. The objective of this site, part of Annenberg Foundation, is to advance excellence in American schools. One of its hidden treasures is its excellent video on demand series. To find this series, click on this link and you'll see a list of videos. Here they are. Now let me scroll down and you see, for example, American Passages, a literary survey. Um, there also is the Constitution, that delicate balance. But the one I want to show you today or illustrate this talk is Voices and Visions. Let me just keep going down and click here. It consists of 13 one hour video programs that interprets the lives of 13 renowned American poets through dramatic readings, archival photographs, dance, performance, and interviews. Poets include, and if I go down, you'll see a list of these poets Elizabeth Bishop, Emily Dickinson. Robert Frost, Langston Hughes, Sylvia Plath, Ezra Pound, Wallace Stevens, Walt Whitman, William Carlos Williams, among others. Um, we'll just take a look at one of them. Let's look at Langston Hughes. Now we click on the VOD symbol and it should start to stream automatically. You can't save it so there's no copyright problems. And for the hard of hearing, or the deaf, or if you have difficulty in understanding this book in English, then you have the closed captions for all videos. You just turn the closed caption on at the outset. If you do it in the middle, it will go back to the beginning. So you're always best to do this at the beginning. And then you'll see the captions appearing in this frame. Now you're all set for enjoyable program. Here it's buffering. Enjoy. The next multimedia site I want to show you is Smithsonian Folkways, the Folkways Collection. You go to www.folkways.si.edu. Then you move to Explore Folkways and you see there's podcasts, radio streams and videos. Podcast is really just another word for radio, so let's click on podcast. And then what we're going to do is click on the Folkways collection down here. This is a page I want to show you. Here you'll find that there's a series of 24 one-hour programs explore Folkways records and its founder, Moses Ash. So let me just scroll down this page. For example, episode 2 is Moses Ash, Man and Myth. You'll see, for example, Huddy Ledbetter. Red Belly, Woody Guthrie, The Blues, Jazz, Country and Bluegrass, Peter C Pete Seeger, etc, etc. Then you can download each episode separately as an MP3 file directly to your PC or smartphone. It's very good for classroom program on folk music. Enjoy. The next site we'll go to is an interactive book for early readers. We'll go to Scholastic. That's www2 dot scholastic dot com backslash browse backslash home dot jsp there's plenty in this page alone but what we're going to do is look at teachers resources and interactive whiteboard you don't have to have an interactive whiteboard for this to work and um, let me scroll down this page and we see here Clifford interactive storybooks and that's what we're going to look at so 
and there's also Clifford Learning Games. You can look at yourself separately. So first of all, let's click on Clifford Interactive Storybooks. And let's go to any activity. And here there's a list of Clifford's stories. Read a story. Emily Elizabeth goes to school. Here Clifford. Clifford's Big Dig. And where is Emily? And if you go further down, you'll see there's some really good stuff as well. For your iPhone, there's applications. And there's a video interview with the author Norman Bridwell. You can't get much better than that. And just to show you the interactive story, you click you can click in English or Spanish, no other language at the moment. Let's, so let's click in English. And while you're waiting you can do a tic tac toe game. Here it's loaded already, we won't be able to do that, we'll just click on the the X. Oh let's play the game. Uh, I don't think I won this one. Ah, I've lost. Okay, let's begin the game. Emily Elizabeth goes to school. You click on begin. And although you can't hear it with this um, interactive program I'm doing, um, you will be able to hear this is Emily's big day. If you this click is here. Big day. Um, she is going to school. She is going to school. Emily will learn how to read. Emily will learn how to read. And if, just in case you think you get the wrong answer, if you want her to leap, leap. she leaps. Emily will learn how to leap. And if you want her to weave, weave. why not? Emily will learn how to weave. And then you click on the next. And then you go to the next page, and you do the same with this page, and the next page, and the next page, and the next page, and the next page, and the next. It's about seven pages for each story. Very nice for early readers. And when you're done, you click done, and you go back to the beginning. Have fun. Enjoy. That's all for this episode of the Talkville. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tell your friends and come back to see the next episode of the Talkville. See you soon.